Welcome to Eva Talks, a weekly podcast about the law of attraction and more. Enjoy today's episode. Good morning, everybody. Here is Eva Speaks again. Today's topic, I would like to share some signs you've been manipulated by narcissists or sociopaths. The last podcast I spoke about the narcissism and the difference between overt and covert narcissism. The term covert narcissism is not so known in our society and it's even more dangerous. So if you would like, you can also listen my previous podcast about the narcissism and the difference between covert and overt narcissist. So let's go. What are the signs? And please be aware that these signs are just from my own experience and also the facts I spotted in the time I was in a very, very toxic relationship. Both narcissists and sociopaths are egocentric individuals that aim at achieving only what's best for their interest. Even though it likes that it's not, it will turn on that it is, believe me. It's not like you can come across a sociopath or narcissist on a daily basis, but even if you do, there are chances for you two to work together or even date And in order to avoid getting manipulated by a narcissist or sociopath and get hurt during the process, because they have very, very low self-esteem and low self-confidence, you need to know how to recognize the signs. You will receive a lot of attention and even affection way too early. I call it love bombing and probably you heard about this term. Even narcissist or sociopath believe that you can help them get what they want. They will adopt some of the weirdest ways to get their hooks in you. They can be extremely charming when pursuing a purpose and may even try to win you over. So if it feels strange, like no other type of experience you ever had or too good to be true, it's probably so. This means that this kind of people will shower you with proofs of affection and love shortly after you met, so that you are the only one, that they will marry you and that will um, that they want uh, to have uh, children with you and you will feel quite overwhelmed about it. And still it's worth knowing that their feelings are never, really never genuine. And they really know how, <laughs> how to manipulate. Be aware of this sign. Remember also that the words mean nothing, really nothing, unless they reflect reality through actions. And usually by these people, the words don't match with the reality, with their actions. Another sign is also that you find yourself returning to a relationship with one, even if you don't want to. How come? How is this possible? Narcissists and sociopaths have an incredible way to make people come back to them, regardless of the, of the situation. So even even if you want to walk away, there are high chances that they'll try to persuade you to come back. And in most of the cases, they will also succeed. Many people involved in such relationship are aware that it would be best if they would terminate the relationship, but can't explain why they always come back. It's, it's like, is somebody hypnotizing you? and you cannot explain it to yourself. It's also worth mentioning that narcissists and sociopaths usually target highly empathic and genuine people. And this is the case. 
We usually face something from our childhood or something unresolved, any pain we get in our childhood. And these people can really ask questions and know us so good that they start to manipulate and they just hit, hit the point, the uncover point. And then we are like, wow. This is the one. This is the soulmate. We finally found. But it's not. Because it's a big lie. And for them it's only a game. Nothing at all. What's the next sign? They will not hesitate to apologize. Both narcissists and sociopaths are dangerous because they are smart and are not afraid to do anything that will give you the, the impression that everything will be better. Even they say and they promise they will do. Of course they will not do. It's just only a playing game with you further. Their apologies may even sound genuine and sincere to you, but they are always used to keep you from walking. Remember this one. They will use lies to make you feel like you are the, the one who is wrong. And also the one who only criticizes and the one who blames. Of course, because it's one of their techniques to make sure that you are manipulated and hooked in for sure is the use of lies for this empowering you. They will simply make you think that you were wrong, even if you were right. They are questioning you, so you start questioning yourself. And of also that you did something in particular, even if you actually didn't. And these people, what I already have said, are masters of manipulation. So if your gut instinct tells you that something is wrong, and if you start to Google what is there, is there any mental disorder, then it's probably true. And if a person is making you feel bad repeatedly, if you feel the energy as an empath, you have all the rights to end that relationship, regardless of its nature and also even if it's hard, even if you really love this person. Trust yourself and your own skills and abilities and don't allow people to tell you that you can't make it without them. Because loving yourself is the first step you can step out to be grateful what you already have. What's the next sign? They are passive, aggressive. As they don't like arguing or for somebody else to have an opinion that seems to them as being critical, they can turn verbally very, very aggressive, out of the blue. And you really don't know what's going on. You are shocked. You can get a cold shower without even knowing what's going on or what upset them. They behave like vampires who suck your energy, who suck your blood in a subtle way if you don't pay enough attention. And if you lose your energy, if you get, don't give them the supply that they really want, they will throw you away like a trash. You are just peace. They don't think the same way as you. Think about this sign about passive aggressive it's very huge sign and it appears just accidentally from suddenly from nothing and then they are like oh i don't know is this really happened no it's your problem it's not my problem and they are also a control freaks this is also a huge sign They want to control everything. And they will be also mean to you if you don't want what they want. They are just like lone wolves, playing solo all the time, without paying attention or caring about the emotions of you. And they are also very high, highly possessive, because 
even though it looks like they don't care that they give you freedom and they admire you and they want to you want your success it's not and it's usually by covert narcissist or sociopath that they start also to project on you they blame you when they don't feel you treat them as they think how to be treated but it's only their head you know that they think how to be treated and it's very unhealthy way so to finish my podcast i would like you to remember what's important in your life that you spend your precious time in your human body in this planet with five people you do love and they love you the most because the five people you are spending the most time with will form your own world and you will also become one of them too at one point this is it thank you for listening and i will speak to you next week again bye bye